Afternoon guys. Well, this is one of my all-time favorite home light saws that they uh, that they made. This saw is a very, very rare um, VI955, which is a 82cc chainsaw. They, they stopped making this series, I believe in 1977, and they have, which I'll show on a close-up in a minute, they have a very unusual serial number system. So it has the original serial number badge, and it's a saw which is in my private collection, and it's just been for view by me. It runs fantastic. It's an absolute monster in terms of torque and power, although the, the horsepower figure from Home Light is unpublished for this saw. It's a true monster. Um, this engine will run from a 16 inch bar up to a 36 inch bar, which even by today's standards is a, is a, a huge saw. In fact, let me pick up the camera now. I'll do a little walk around. And at the end, I'll take a couple of the covers off and show people, well, I might take the covers off, we'll see. So it's the original home light bar, solid nose. It's a full chisel chain. Felling spikes. Again, like I say to people, the front of the saw is a great indicator as to the type of use it's had and it's virtually had, well, you've seen it, it amazing, amazing time warp condition. Um, as far as I know, this saw is a 76 model, so just before they, they actually finished making this and has the anti-vibe mount assembly on it. Under the side of the saw is beautiful. Rubber bushings on the handle, beautiful. Kill switch. So I'll try and focus in on this, the serial number so people can look at it. It's a bit washed out for colour, but if you can see that, the first digit, the six, I believe indicated the the year in the 70s, so 1976, 328 was the, was the calendar day, so the 328th day in 1976, and then the last three digits tells you that was unit 379. So this is right towards the very tail end of home light making this saw. Probably the best saws as well that they'd ever made. Choke. Manual oil pump as well as an auto oiler. Very unique chain catcher assembly. Top oil fill and top petrol fill. Spectacular compression on this saw. Unusual filtration as well. Two separate um, filters if it wants to come off. Second. Okay. So, primary filter, little secondary shroud, little felt filter, um, which catches any debris if there was anything inside, stop it getting drawn into the intake. So just amazingly clean saw, beautiful. I've loved having this saw in my collection. It's an absolute beast to run, and the engine is incredibly torquey, which I will show now. Anybody interested, then you're very, very welcome to come out. It's a rare saw, you will, I don't say it lightly on some of the saws that, um, even the detail that they used to make, a little brass insert, a brass filter for the air release from the petrol to help vent it. I don't say it lightly, you would struggle anywhere to find a saw, this CC, this make, in this condition. The grill is in beautiful condition. All original screws in amazing condition. And I've kept it, I've laid it with some some layup oil and just so that it none of it obviously rusts or tarnishes or go over and so it I've tried to maintain it exactly as it as it came to me little on off switch original even the little protective shroud so you don't hit the button accidentally okay I don't know if 
the lens is hazed over. It looks a little hazy all of a sudden. Let me just give the lens a wipe. Sorry guys. Okay, so I shall start the engine, show it running. This is, if you go onto any of the American websites for this particular model of saw, um, this is often Big Logger's favourite saw from this era. Lots and lots of compression. Kill switch, a little bit of choke. Just the attention to detail, aluminium throttle lock, just a beautiful, beautiful design. I hope that does it some type of justice it's an incredible uh it's an incredible engine and like i said i haven't cut with it i'll take the covers off actually and show a little walk around for people because i think it's it really is deserving to see inside to see one how it's constructed because they the engineering on them is immense and also you can everybody can see the condition of the parts inside probably tell from the video that it's running a little rich. I brought a, a new home light carburetor kit for it um, for the Tillotson from America and so and I have it set slightly rich just purely because I don't run it for cutting and I just want to look after the engine. take off the cover so people can have a little look at it. It's interesting as well to see the chain guide plates because you'll get a great idea of how much use a saw has had just by looking at the chain, the chain guide plates and how much wear they've, they've accrued over a period of time. Um, what's also very very unusual with this saw, it's, you can even tell from the the bar nuts, they, they have no scarring on them, they're in great condition. It's very unusual to find the original home light chain catcher. The cover is undamaged, a little bit of paint missing off the top, a little bit of pitting in the aluminium. The guide plates are pristine condition, they're beautiful, barely touched or skimmed by the chain. This is a big bar, so it's a nominal 22 inch bar with a full chisel chain.
Okay, like I said, don't want it to be too long a video again either, but it's the type of thing where you will not see a saw in this condition very often. I mean, virtually impossible. Down to the, the turned aluminium throttle lock, the brass manual oil pump with copper feed lines to brass connections. It's just such a beautiful piece of engineering. Um, take off this top guide plate. Chain oiler working really, really well. Guide plates in fabulous time warp condition. Felling spike, excellent condition. Silencer, excellent condition. Okay. Right. What I will do for speed, I will quickly put the camera back down. I'll take this side cover off as well. I think it's, I think it'll be important for people to be able to see under the pull start hangs and give you a real true representation of the condition of the saw. So, I'll be as fast as possible. So this saw then is approximately coming up to 43 years old and I often ask myself if you were running you could pick out any make of, of the newer breed of plastic type saws if you honestly took an engineering look at any of them and said to yourself well with use what would this saw be running like in 43 years from now I think for the answer for most of the saws is they wouldn't be running at all. They would have been thrown away. And yet this series of Canadian home light saw, the enamel paint is absolutely fantastic. It's a shame they didn't ever disclose the, the horsepower figure for this particular engine. It would have been, it'd been great to see. seen. Okay, let me bring it up to the camera. So, inside, original home light handle. And then inside, both starter pools fine, paint beautiful inside. coil and you can see the fins on the engine how clean the engine is not heated up and then tar and fuel baked onto it just in amazing condition okay guys so thanks for watching um i've had a few messages from people asking you know some of these saws why aren't you cutting with them if they're okay well all I would say to people is, if, if, you, if you need to ask that question, these probably aren't the right saws for you. These, these are engineering feats and bits of engineering beauty, which you just, you just cannot buy them like this anymore, anywhere. So to get them in this condition, um, so yes, it is a saw you could definitely cut with, I'm sure. If you retuned it and got it ready for cutting, sharpened the chain, yes, undoubtedly you could cut some big lumber with it. Uh, for me, that's not why I bought this saw. So, it's up on eBay for spares or repair. Any questions, anybody wants to come and take a look at an amazing piece of history, you're more than welcome. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.